Okay, so that's a big mistake that a lot of people are doing in my eyes and I'm gonna explain what exactly I mean and then I'm gonna explain what I will do in those situations instead. So first off, uh, this is a high diamond ranked game, it's diamond 2 elo and we are spectating my Katie and Eddie Carey who basically had the most gold in his inventory from all time players. 5 kills, 1 death, 90 CS in 12 minutes, he got the first tower in bot lane, which means all plates and obviously the bonus gold from the first tower. And then they basically did the standard swap between uh, bot lane and top lane, which is pretty common in high elo, probably not so common in low elo, but Most players are doing the swap because obviously the AD carry has a pretty easy time to get even more plates if he's ahead. So, as you can see, Katie already got an extra plate, so that makes 6 now. And she got 2 waves pushed. We catch Nivea in the river, and Morika has to make a big mistake, which means uh, he for some reason responded to our catch on the Nivea. And Katie gets another 2 plates. Which is fantastic. No mistake yet, everything is fine. Next wave is incoming, she pushes the next wave. Everything is perfect. Mordecai still lands his combo on her, and now she's uh, pretty low HP. So she pushed, she pushed that wave as well, and now the actual mistake is happening. So, first off, in that one minute, Caitlyn got like three plates. And three waves. And this is like 650 gold or something. And she did that gold, like she got this gold in one minute. Unfortunately, in Morley Castle and the combo, as I said, so she is low, and Valkyrie is low, and we don't have any vision on enemy jungler, which means there's a pretty high chance that she can die if she overextends. And obviously, as you can see, she's going to overextend. And she tries to hit the tower. And they are both going to die. And now the enemy Kha'Zix got 750 gold. And okay, then gets nothing. So, okay. So, this was the mistake. So, the. Okay, let's. Let's try to explain some stuff first. So, first off, in 10 seconds the plates are going to fall anyways, which means uh, she's not able to get any plate anymore. Also, if they really wouldn't fall, the tower has like 160 armor because he gets the bonus assistance, and as long as Mordecai is, uh, like as long when Mordecai is this on the tower, She's probably not really going to get this tower in the next few minutes. Which just really makes this inefficient to do. As you can see, she didn't even able to hit like one art attack. She didn't even she wasn't even able to land one art attack on the tower. Because Mother Castle was clearing the base so fast. So what Kaden actually should do is she should realize that right now she's ahead and everyone else is ahead. And that she is in a carry spot. And she wants to like keep this carry position until the Baron spawns. So that means basically she doesn't want to throw. Because right now all the team has to do in the next 6 minutes is nothing. We only have to like get the same gold as the enemy is. Which, in my opinion, is super easy to do because the team is still ahead. And then we probably are going to win because we are ahead and we are probably going to win the 5v5. Because our comp is also a little bit better than the enemy comp in the 5v5. Even if I think both comps are kinda terrible. But, yeah, probably gonna win. Then we get a bam and then we close out the game. So, what Caitlyn actually could do is instead of like pushing this tower that makes no sense and this little damage and has almost no impact anymore in the next few minutes she should actually go to the golems 
and then into the red, and then into the raptors. So she takes all three camps. Our anger is that, so that doesn't matter. Then our anger can just go like, uh, basically, blue side jungle, taking those three camps, assisting the rhythm or something. And Caitlyn basically recalls, resets, gets her PS sword because she is at 1.1k gold right now. So it will be a perfect recall for her, and then she just goes back top lane, or I just swap, basically top side, and she goes to mid lane. And then she basically got like, I don't know, half a level and like 450 gold. And there wasn't a single time wasted. So you could basically say in the next half minute we cannot 12 CS, recall, 40 seconds gone, she catches next wave, gets next 6 CS, has like 24 CS extra, that means basically she's at 1 of 30, and the timer would be like 50 minutes or something. But instead she chose the... Uh... Yeah. Interesting way of playing the game, and now she's dead. Now she actually like misses all the CS, and Renga goes topside anyways, because he wants to... Be around topside because that is now the one that is actually pressured and Ranger takes the red and golems instead of the blue side camps. And yeah, as I said, in my opinion this is a bad habit of a playstyle. And it obviously stacks up, it's not just in this very moment. Let's see in 10 minutes like how this actually turns out. Stat wise. Okay, so Caitlyn got in those 10 minutes 40 CS. So in that mid game, in the next 10 minutes of mid game, whatever, she got 40 CS, 5 kills, 7 deaths. And, and now look at my stats, for example. I almost got 1 on CS, I got also the same kills, and I got 0 deaths. So imagine like Caitlyn actually played in the same way as I did and she actually got like one on CS which is not really unre unrealistic when you think about it because Caitlyn was the one that was actually like insanely ahead and I was like barely ahead but for some reason she played like the mid game in a way that you could actually like say she wasn't even ahead and it was the Ari that had an easy time to do all this stuff. Which, in my opinion, isn't true. And unfortunately, the Baron was already taken. Okay. I don't really remember anymore. When was the Baron taken? Okay. Under 23 minutes. So, yeah, if the Caitlyn actually like, has 200 CS right now and dies only one or two times, this would be like so much better. We still got a Baron, anyways, but I still will. Make the game like so much easier in my opinion. And to be fair, we won this game, but as you can see the enemy cast is just started to snowball like crazy. And this has also a lot to do with Caitlyn just dying. All over the map, I guess. And yeah, as I said, in my opinion, this kinda reduces the carry potential. And the one 1v9 potential that a player actually can have, so I do honestly believe that people should really focus more on taking camps while rotating lanes, trying to get that 10 CS mark in a game, or at least as high as possible of a CS number in a game, and then they eventually are going to win a lot more games in their future, in my opinion. 